Hi, it's Sherry from A Quilting Life, and I'm here with some ideas to kind of jumpstart your year. We're about halfway through the month of January, but it's not too late to think about getting your space in order for the way that you want it to, to be throughout the year. So I'm going to pop in occasionally on the channel with some ideas for you. I'm going to give you five ideas today that you can use to start making a difference in your sewing space. And then I'll come back throughout the year with more ideas that you can make a list and do them and get them done. So let's go ahead and get started. Okay, first of all, before you begin, I want you to take a minute and just shut your eyes and just kind of visualize how you want your sewing space to be. I know I've been told to do this before in a, on a variety of topics and it sometimes seems a little silly, but it really works. So just take a minute and whether you really shut your eyes or not, just think about how you want your sewing room to feel when you walk into it. Think about maybe what some things are that you might want to change this year to make it easier for you to get more done. And that's really what I think it's all about is getting more done in our sewing spaces. I accumulate clutter when I sew, just like I think all of you do, but I do like to periodically clean things out and it just gives me a really fresh start. Okay, number one is to take a before picture. I know this one sounds a little silly too, but you don't have to show it to anybody. It's just for your own use. And I think at the end, you'll be really happy because you'll see the improvement that you were able to make. So get out your, your phone or your camera and just take a quick picture. And maybe you don't have to take a picture of the whole room, but if you're just gonna concentrate on one area, take a picture of that area and you're done with step number one. Step number two is to make a list of your works in progress. This is really important so that you know everything that you have going on. And I do have a sheet that you can download if you haven't downloaded it already. We'll have a link to it in the description below. But make a list of everything that you have going on that you're going to keep. Now, if you have a works in progress that you're thinking about donating, maybe put that in a donate pile, don't add it to your list, but everything that you have in progress and that you want to finish, put it on your list and print off more than one sheet of paper if you need to. The third step, and this actually doesn't seem like a decluttering step, but I think it helps us get the ideas out of our head and by putting them onto paper, we can think more clearly. But for number three, I want you to make a list of any other projects that you want to make this year that you haven't yet started. This will help us later as we really focus on how we want to spend our time. So make that list of things that you want to sew that aren't already on your works in progress list. Step number four is something that I learned from Peter Walsh. A lot of you know he's an organizing expert. I used to watch him on the Oprah show years ago and he used to always have a saying about clearing off your flat surfaces. And at the time, I listened to him and I applied that counsel to my house, to my kitchen, to my bathroom, to my living room. Clear off those flat surfaces and you're gonna feel better about your space. And that's the truth in your sewing room too. For me, I tend to acquire a lot of clutter on my ironing board. In fact, I'm looking over at my two ironing stations right now and they both have stuff on them. So clear off those flat surfaces where things tend to accumulate. And you can do this on a Saturday, it, depending on your situation, it might be a quick project or a little bit longer project. But for me, the flat surfaces that I need to keep clear are my work table here where I'm standing, my sewing machine and my ironing stations. I don't worry so much about the other flat surfaces. I have a nice flat surface behind me. I kind of keep things there as decor or to you know have easy access to things. I don't worry so much about having that completely free and clear, but by having a completely free and clear ironing board, it really helps me get things done. And obviously my cutting table, I need to clear that off at least after every project. So that's task number four. Okay, task number five, and this is the last one for this video, is that I want you to corral all your rulers, all your scissors, and all your rotary cutters. So that's three things, rulers, scissors, rotary cutters, and decide which ones you use the most often 
and where you're going to put those. And maybe if there are some that you don't use as often, they could be put in a box or in a drawer. I have some different sizes of rotary cutters, for example, that I don't use all the time. And so I like to just keep them in a drawer, but the ones that I use frequently, I have right where I can see them and right where I can access them. And it's the same for scissors and for rulers. I actually have a list of all the rulers that I have, and if you have a lot, you might wanna think about doing that too so that you can always look up at any time which rulers you have and also where they're stored. So the rulers that I use most frequently, you'll see behind me, I have a little ruler stand where I have some of my really frequently used rulers. And I actually have a couple other ruler stands in my sewing space for the rulers that are the next most used. I have to walk a little bit further to get to those, but they're out in my room. But then in my closet, I actually have two plastic bins with all the rest of the rulers. And I do have a list of what is in each of those bins. Okay, so that's it. That's your five tasks. And I promise you that you'll be on your way to getting your sewing space cleaned up and ready to do more in 2024. If you enjoyed today's video, please share it with a friend, hit the like button, and subscribe to our channel if you haven't already. Thanks so much for stopping by.